right, guys, and just like that, we are back with the asphalt side of the Four Crown Series. Currently going through qualifying, Andrew Thornton currently is the top with a 20.15, followed by Joe Adams with a 20.19. Jackson McLean runs a similar time of a 20.19 in third. Ron Quinzel and Ted Quinzel running a 20.23 and a 20.32. Richie Joplin runs a 20.33 for sixth. Noah Bowman, Wade Fields, Austin Thornton, and Rylan Gray round out the top 10. Currently 13 cars on track. Set to have an amazing night here at IRP. Can't explain how fun this combination really, truly is. You know... IRP to the 0.67 mile, very flat track, somewhat progressive banking, a little bit on the top. Um, you'll see these guys running more of the top line with trying to pass on the lower, which is very hard <laughs> in these asphalt sprint cars that have so much damn power. It's not even funny. So, Quick little recap. After our third race of the season, the non-wings at Lima Land. Rylan Gray did extend his point lead from, I believe it was 7 up to 10 points over Richie Joplin. So Rylan Gray is currently in the lead with 204 points. Richie Joplin with 194 sits in second. Andrew Thornton jumps from 4th up to 3rd with 188 so he is only eight points behind. Yes, eight points behind <laughs> Richie Joplin. Had to math there, guys. Joey Smith has jumped up in the points. He is sitting fourth now, jumping over Jackson McLean. And there is only a three point gap between Joey and Jackson here for fourth and fifth spot. It's going to be a great night of action. See if possibly Mr. Rylan Gray can sweep for the first time this season. You guys did hear it at the end of the Lima Land race. He typically only runs the asphalt sprints here. He likes this. Currently sitting 10th, he is farther back in the field. So definitely going to be interesting to see if he can work his way up. These are open wheel sprint cars, guys. Any sort of touching, any sort of contact will get these cars upset. It's not going to be a fun time for them. But only time will tell. We need to see if there's any animosity between the first race and the second. Okay, let's see. What is our race distance here tonight? 40 laps. Definitely going to be a very interesting one as we jump straight into it, guys. No heat races here. So we jump onto the grid. Andrew Thornton will get his second pole of the season. He did get the pole in the Silver Crowns last week. And two is outside on row number one is Joe J. Adams. Row number three will be Ron Quinzel and Jackson McLean. With Ted Quinzel and Richie Joplin on row number three. Uh, Noah Bowman and Wade Fields. Row four. Austin Thornton and Rylan Gray. Row number five. Joseph Smith and Ryan Paget in row number six. With Mr. John O'Brien. Rounding out the field. We will have two laps of pacing here. The only time you will see these guys go double file 
is on the initial start. They do have single file restarts for the rest of the series. It's going to be interesting going into turn one to see exactly who's going to get the advantage here. Joe Adams does have the preferred line, but can Andrew Thornton get a good jump? As we come out of turn number four, we are getting ready to go green. As Andrew does fire and gets a great jump. Green flag here at IRP. Andrew working that bottom as he's going to try to slide up and get on the high line. See you guys further back in the pack shuffling around. Wade Fields already up two spots. Ted Quinzel has dropped two spots. With Ryland Gray already trying to make his way up through the field, working the outside. Contact with Ryland Gray and Ryan Paget. Get a little bit of bump and guys throwing elbows out as they're trying to make their way up through this field. No caution as of yet. As we do have a couple guys. Oh, it hard into the inside wall is Noah Bowman. Doesn't get on the brakes quite soon enough. It looks like John O'Brien is the one that did hit them there at the end. Let's go back and take a look, ride with Noah Bowman to see exactly what happened. It's like one of the Concells. They made the initial contact. They did save it, but Noah wasn't able to save it. And sliding up across the track, unfortunately... John O'Brien does get a piece of it. That will put Ted Quinzel, John O'Brien, and Noah Bowman all into pit road. So after that restart, your top two are the same. Andrew Thornton, Joe J. Adams, Ron Quinzel, Jackson McLean with Richie Joplin sitting there in fifth. He's trying to have a great night and close that points gap up a little bit over Mr. Ryland Gray. Wade Fields comes out in six. I believe this is his first race of the season for B Main. Ryan Paget in seventh with Ryland Gray. After that contact, might be a couple issues with those two. Joseph Smith will be in ninth. Austin Thornton will round out the top ten. With Ted Quinzel making it back out on field or back out on track before he gets a lap down. A little bit of different disciplines for this Tuesday Four Crown Series. Four very different cars between the Midgets, Non-Wing, 360s, the Silver Crowns, and the Asphalt Sprints. The sister car to the Asphalt Sprint is the uh, Silver Crown. And with the Silver Crown, they're actually able to have a lot more downforce with the Aero Package. As they get doubled up, I guess we are going double file racing here on the restart. Andrew Thornton will lead them back to the line in the restart zone, and he fires. We are green once again at IRP. Quickly getting out into a great lead, followed by Ron Quinzel on the bottom line, who will get around Joe J. Adams. Guys trying to get single filed out so that they all can have that preferred line up top. Doesn't look like very many people are fighting for that bottom as of yet, but Wade Fields and Jackson McLean fighting here and that is the battle for P number five Ryland Gray did make it past Ryan Paget as Ryland's looking underneath Wade Fields can he make the pass without any contact here see Austin Thornton getting that right rear into the wall Ryland holding that bottom can he make it work side by side for P number six Going into three and four. Fields pinches him down a little bit and keeps the position. That's opening the door for Ryan Paget to jump up here and try to get into the mix. Checking on your leaders up here. 
Ron Conceau is right on Andrew Thornton's bumper. Looking to his inside, trying to make a pass. Andrew just loses talent. You hate to see it. We are back under yellow. Let's go back and take a look from his cockpit view and see exactly what happened here. You see him coming around three and four. Just tries to put too much power, gets it hooked to the left, and just comes back around and head onto the wall. A very, very rough crash for Andrew Thornton. Hopefully the car is not hurt too badly. As he has not brought it to the pits yet. It's like he will be this time round, though. Him and Joey Smith run into the pits. Joe J. Adams in the pits. Richie Joplin as well. Don't believe this is for any damage. These guys might just be trying to get a new set of tires here. We did see a slight tire advantage. Nope. Richie gets the fast repair. Joe J. Adams gets his fast repair. Andrew. Car goes up, but he does not get tires. It's like Joey Smith. It's like he did get a new set of fresh Goodyears on... Or Hoosiers. Set of fresh Hoosiers on that car. They will be back out on the track. It's like all of them did make it out before they went a lap down. So with that loss of talent, you do have Mr. Ron Quinzel taking the lead for the first time this season. Ron is very adept with these sprint cars. It is definitely what he loves to drive. It's great to see him out here and be able to lead some laps. Wonderboy has worked his way up into the P2 position, but he has Wade Fields, one of the best open wheel racers, asphalt or dirt I have ever seen, right behind him, with your points leader and last race winner, Rylan Gray, trying to sweep it, worked his way up into fourth from P number six, but right on his butt is uh, Mr. Ryan Paget. We know Ryan has the tendency to be aggressive and go for wins. He says he's trying to be conservative and avoid all the bullshit, but at the end of the day, we're all very competitive. Austin Thornton will, has worked his way up into P6. Ted Quinzel back on track in P7. Richie Joplin has dropped two spots into 8th. With Andrew Thornton and Joe J. Adams rounding out the top 10. Pace truck is off as they come around. Turn number four. They will be going green this time round. In the restart box and they fire. Jackson a little squirrely on that restart. Almost comes down into Ron. And that opens the gate for Wade Fields to jump up here. And take P2 from him. Rylan Gray following right along. Rylan has been able to work that bottom line. As Austin Thornton comes out of nowhere. And he's going to be the next one to get around Wonder Boy. <coughs> and make the pass good. stick there. Austin Thornton up into P number four. Ryan Paget trying to follow him through. We get on the front stretch. Him and Jackson will be side by side. Again, you do not want to be that low on the track. There is advantages, but you cannot maintain it. Richie Joplin touching the wall. As they single file out with Jackson McLean dropping three spots in the P5. Ryan Paget gains a couple on that restart, but he's got Richie Joplin caught on his tail. Ron Quinzel running quick, consistent,
fast laps up here who has the uh, best lap of the race at a 20.31. Just starting to gap the field a little bit with a four-tenth of second gap over Wade Fields. Rylan Gray has moved up seven spots into third. And then right behind him is the battle. Oh, contact! Austin Thornton, what a save, buddy! He will get going again. He will cycle back into P9, possibly P10 after Ted Quinzel tries to get around him. Hard race in between McLean and Austin. Two of the admins of B Main Bandits, but great friends, even greater competitors. Rylan Gray has uh, I apologize, guys. Rylan Gray has uh, decreased the gap down to three tenths of a second on Wade Fields. With these long green flat runs, you do want to see some sort of tire conservation from these guys. Because by the end of 40 laps, these guys are going to be begging for a new set of tires. And currently the only one that I know has a fresh set is Mr. Joseph Smith, who is back in 11th. Andrew Thornton looks like he might have had an issue. And something just does not sound right with that car as he is currently five seconds behind Joey Smith. Not the night he hoped for in the asphalt sprint cars. Quinzel almost out to a one second gap as we are back under caution. Looks like Richie Joplin and Ted Quinzel are involved. Go back to the instant replay here. Oh, the 24 car just shoots down underneath Richie, makes huge contact, shot it in there way too hard, and unfortunately, Richie Joplin is over. Rough night for Richie as he was having a great run. Let's try to see who is the 20. It is Noah Bowman. That was the initiator in that wreck. Just shot underneath and got a little bit too much there. Unfortunate. These guys are, they have to fight for every piece of position. IRP is a very rough track for passing. And sometimes you just need to take risks. And with risks, sometimes it just does not work out. And unfortunate for Joplin and Bowman there. And everyone else that was involved, you saw multiple guys get caught up in that incident. Taking a lot of good cars off the track. It's like Joe J. Adams is in for repairs. Richie Jopp, when we know, is in for repairs. He had to tow. Ted Quinzel is back out on the track. He's done a great job of staying on the lead lap. Excuse me. No, he is one lap down currently. Joe J. Adams will get back out there, but I don't believe he will be able to beat the leaders and he will fall one lap down. So as we get ready to go green here, once again, it will be 12 laps to go next time round. Ron Quinzel leads the field. He's been dominant all night long after getting around Andrew and that just lack of talent. Wade Fields has worked his way up six positions into P2 with Ryland Gray working from P10 up into seventh. A great run for your points leader. Jackson McLean is still lingering there in the top five. He is currently P4. Noah Bowman, who you saw get into that incident with Richie Joplin, sitting in fifth. Austin Thornton is up three spots into six. Joey Smith up four spots into P7. Correction, P8. Looks like 
Ryan Padgett may have some issues here heading down pit road. Andrew Thornton will be the last guy on the lead lap here if Padgett isn't able to get out of the pit road in time. And he is sitting P8. Lights on the pace truck are off. Oh, 10 laps to go. 10 lap shootout. Can Ron Quinzel get his first win of the season? Will Ryland Gray possibly have another very aggressive move to get what he wants done and sweep the week number two for the B-Main Bandits? Only time will tell. Wade Fields up on the high side has a preferred line. As they fire, Wade needs a great restart, and he got it. He's right on the heels of Quincell. He's on his outside, side by side, coming out at two. Can Fields have the run into three and four? He will cross over with Quincell. Oh, no, they touch. They touch in three and four. We are back under caution. Wade Fields and Ron Quincell get into it. We did have an in, uh, incident before with Ryan Padgett. Let's take a look at that, and then we will look at the incident with your leaders. It's like Ryan Padgett just trying to get up to speed here and catch the field. He does go to pit road. He was not the cause of the caution. The cause of the caution was this. And let's take a look from Mr. Wade Fields' view. So this is the, the restart here, working on the high side. These guys are fighting hard. He dives to the bottom. And just not enough room. Both guys fighting for real estate here. Slight contact with Wade and Ron. Unfortunately, Ron did get the bad end of that. So Ron is down pit road right now. Looks like he was getting tires. He may come out a lap down. We will have to wait and see. But if he's able to get out on the lead lap, he will only have to pass eight cars to jump back up there and see if he can beat Wade Fields for this victory. Ron's definitely been the fastest car all night. Lights on the pace truck are still on. Correction, they are off, it looks like. Pace truck does pull off. We are single file. Six laps to go. Wade Fields, Ryland Gray, and Jackson McClain, your top three. Who will take the victory? Wade Fields does fire. We are back green. Great jump over Ryland Gray. See if he can now start walking away. He did have a gap on him before this string of yellows. Goes down into defensive mode, running that midline. Top three, throw a blanket over him. Only an interval of two tenths of a second. Jackson McClain makes a great move to the bottom underneath Ryland Gray. Can he make it stick? Can he put the power down? He will get, jump back in line right behind Ryland. Noah Bowman gets in there hot, washing up the track. As Gray takes a look to the inside. Not able to get it done. Bowman trying to go to the bottom once again. As look who has jumped back up into this battle with three laps to go. Andrew Thornton, after his issues earlier, he's back in this fight. We are back under caution once again. Looks like Noah Bowman who was running P4, was the cause of the issue. 
because of the caution. Noah's been running it hard in there, fighting for every last bit of grip, every last bit of real estate. Tries to swing it out wide, touches the wall, and goes for a wild ride. Safety crew will get out there and make sure he's okay as he jumps to pit road. End of a great night for Noah. So like Richie Joplin will get the wave around here. He is P10, not the night he hoped for. As we get into green white checkered territory Take a ride for this restart with Jackson McLean. You guys can see just how difficult it is for these guys to run these cars here at IRP. Be able to see the speeds that these guys are reaching up on, on the straightaways. And just to be able to hear their car. Going to have an exciting, exciting finish here for a green-white checkered. Who is going to come out on top? Can Jackson get his first win of the season on asphalt, no less? Can Ryland Gray make a move on Wade Fields? He's going to need a hell of a jump and a hell of a restart on Wade. As Wade Fields, he is one of the best open-wheel racers I've seen, guys. I don't know if he's going to actually be able to do it. Looks like they are doubling up for this green-white checkered restart. Admins make the call. That puts Jackson McLean in a great spot. Pace truck is off. 50 miles an hour all the way around turn four. Who's going to get the jump? Who's going to get the advantage into one? As you see, Jackson fire, he hits Wade Fields, and Wade takes off, and they will single file out quickly. 110 miles an hour in the corner, as they quickly jump up to over 130 on the straightaways. These guys carrying a great amount of speed. Two laps to go. Andrew Thornton right on Jackson McLean's bumper. Who's going to make the move? White flag. Ryland Gray and Wade Field side by side. Oh, contact at the end. It's going to be a drag race to the finish. Can Jackson get it? And look who is there at the end. Ron Quincell gets the run on Andrew Thornton. Wins the drag race for P number two. Jackson McClain gets gifted a win for his first win of the season. Andrew Thornton coming home with his second podium. Let's go back and take a quick look. At the very last lap, you have Fields and uh, Rylan Gray fighting it out here. Fields touches the wall and comes down. You cannot make sudden moves with these cars. It is very hard to keep them underneath you. Unfortunate for Wade Fields. Great run by him tonight but not the finish he wanted. You guys see it. Yes, see the fireworks. These guys duked it out. What a finish. It was amazing to see these guys pull this off. And let's jump in. Let's talk to these guys, see what they think. For the second time tonight, we have league owner Andrew Thornton, P3 again. I know it's not what you wanted to see, but after that loss of talent to come back in a P3, you got to be happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, 
uh, loss of talent is definitely just me trying not to run over somebody in front of me and the brakes are incredibly touchy on these things. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take that P3. I was, I was hoping for more, but I figured we're already this far up. And if I move Jackson, I wreck stacking both, we're risk stacking both of us. And I really didn't want to do that. Well, I know you guys definitely want to race clean to the finish there. What, what's your impression there at the end, man? Because Ron Quinzel came out of nowhere. Man, I- so Ron is one of the original guys with the B main bandits. When we first started this league running asphalt sprint cars, he's one of the guys that's been here since day one. And he races these things almost exclusively. So that man can pick his way through these fields like nobody's business. Oh, I know you were expecting a P2 there. Ron came up and stole it from you, but Hey, second podium of the night. You can't, you, you, you can't be unhappy with that, man. No, that's three for four on the season, and uh, I kept my brother from passing me and getting his interview this week, so that's something. Well, you did kind of get to bomb his last week, so it, it might have yeah. been fair for him. Ah, that's it's a good time anyway. Well, Andrew, great run tonight. Great way to bounce back and get back up there and get on the podium. Yep, thanks, bro. All right, guys, and now the man I really want to talk to because what a finish. Mr. Ron Quinzel, this is Ed up in the booth. You got me? Yes, sir, I do. Ron, holy cow, man. One of the most exciting finishes I've seen here at IRP. You you had the issue with Wade Fields earlier in the race, but it looks like you were able to Correct me if I'm wrong. You got fresh tires. Um. Yeah. You uh, have. Cause I race the the series. I racing and uh, you get a f- new tires and a full full f- uh, tank of gas and uh, you, you, <laughs> it's like you know you're Superman again. Well, it was definitely a very Superman move of you. It was. You came out of nowhere. You you were. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You were not on my radar on that green-white checkered finish. And to see you go into three, be on Andrew's outside, and just win the drag race to the line, what a finish, man. I know you wanted the win. You were probably the most dominant car out here tonight. But glad to see you back on the podium. Hopefully we'll see you next week and see you out here a lot more with the B-Main guys. Yeah, I also too. This is a good group, I have to say. Um, as I say, I, I, I do this the sprint car series during the week, and uh, it's stressful. This, with these guys, it's fun. I, I enjoy it. Well, it's a great group of guys. Glad to see a very longtime member coming back out here. And not only just coming out here and just putting around, but, man, you were a rocket ship tonight. Great to see you on the podium. And I cannot wait to talk to you again, Ron. Great run, buddy. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Hey, do do we even need to talk to him? Like, really? I I I guess I'll pull him up. We have a wonder boy, Mr. Jackson McLean, getting his first po- or his first win of the season. You got one gifted to you, buddy. How do you feel? Well, I feel pretty good. It was definitely a gift. I didn't think my first one of the season would come on an asphalt track, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. Well, I, I definitely agree there. You are one of the best out here on the dirt side. We did see you pretty much dominate the non-wing race, and then to come in here, you ran great with the asphalt sprints. Man, what, what, what was your thoughts there on that last lap? I saw Ryland sitting Wade up, and I saw how good of a run he got, so I sat behind Wade, but I was either going to try and dive it to the inside of both of them and potentially take one of them out on accident or uh, or follow Ryland and see if I could get him down the, uh, down the front stretch. Well, because of the contact with the wall that Wade had, that that's a mute point and again you got gifted one but man sometimes that's just how racing goes and you take it when you can have it that'll definitely jump you up the points list a little bit here you came in p3 
P5, three points behind Joey. This may excel you up. Uh, it'll excel you up past Joey. I don't think you're going to get to Andrew. But definitely sets you up going into week three, man. How you feeling about the season yeah, already? I'm feeling pretty good. I haven't had the best of luck, but uh, I'm hoping I can turn around and get some more wins here pretty soon. Well, we're definitely used to talking to you and seeing you up on the podium. Hopefully we talk to you again. First win of the season, especially on asphalt. Great run, buddy. You got anybody you want to thank out there? Uh, of course, I want to thank the B-Main Bandits and all y'all and you for broadcasting and doing such a great job. I appreciate it. And then I also had to thank my wife, obviously, because she supports me. Jamie, thank you for all your support for Wonder Boy <laughs> here. You know, if you're watching this, you took one for the team. You had to marry him. Someone had to. And <laughs> we, we, we appreciate it, okay? Jackson, thank great you. run tonight, man. Have a wonderful one. Appreciate it. That's it, guys. What a wild finish. We've had some crazy racing through two weeks on dirt. Asphalt, two crazy, just absolutely crazy finishes. What What's week three going to entail? Because we go back to the Silver Crowns for the first race of next week. They will be at the Rock, which anybody that runs there, you know exactly how bumpy it is. Imagine being in an open wheel car. And then the Midgets return at a very small track in Fairbury. Some great short track racing. Who's going to come out on top? You'll just have to come back and see. Great night. Great racing by the B-Main Bandits. I'll see you next week, guys. Here, right on Warlord Gaming on Twitch.com slash Warlord Gaming 51. Till then, guys, keep on sending it in.